Hi, my name is Sandra and I'm crafting Indra, a wooden sailing boat whose first line was drawn on the mango tree in Africa. And now she's taking shape on the shoreline of the Rhine. My boat, sweet anger, sweet salvage, cast anchor upon my fingers. To strengthen and tighten the hull, which is now finished upside down, I'm going to coat it with two layers of fiberglass. But before that, I needed to fare out and sand a lot. There are many different tools and techniques you have to learn to get a fair and smooth surface. Depending on shape and curve, you can use planes of various types. Though, you ought to keep an eye on the grain, which can be very treacherous on convex spots. On hollow areas, I found nothing more efficient than the good old angle grinder, when used with some skill. With the help of a good friend, we started to lay out the fiberglass in two layers. The first, a 280 gram fabric covered by the second one of 163. It all went fine and I went to bed late night with a feeling of satisfaction. Only to wake up next morning with doubts and finding the airbox is still not cute. The room temperature seemed to be okay. And when that was okay, something else must have been wrong. The mixer. It struck me like a tonzer. How the heck could I miscalculate? Instead of 100 to 40, I mix 40 to 10. What a dreadful mistake. I was totally devastated and in an act of despair, I started to tear down the horrible sticky fiberglass. Having no idea how to remove the whole epoxy, epoxy mess, tacking the hole and everything what comes in touch with. It took me the help of my dad finding together a technique and an intensive weekend of labor to scrape down every last bit of epoxy.
Here it was when a good and reliable supplier comes at hand. Not only helpful to a generous reduction for a replacement of epoxy and fiberglass, but two days later I had already the whole material in house. My thanks to the team of Sutter Kunsthofe. The next night and day we were catching up for the last hours and got this boat fully dressed. It was a hell of a week, but I just made it in time to roll over the boat. See you next episode.